So today we're gonna be tackling something that I don't wanna tackle and I've been putting it off and maybe you can guess what it is, maybe you can't, but the answer is this. What's happening at the end of my fingers is not cute. We cannot go on this way. This is not self-care, this is neglect. <laughs> so we will be removing and hopefully redoing our dip nails today. So I was finally able to get my hands on some nail polish remover and I ordered this one thing that I saw a YouTube review on. It's like a steam remover that uses steam and acetone or something to remove nails. I'll link the video where I watched it. I ordered it from Walmart and <laughs> funny story is that it said it was delivered. I was like, oh great. And then I checked it and it said it was delivered in Yonkers. And I don't live anywhere near Yonkers. I think that's is that in New Jersey or like, I know it's like near New York City, but I don't live near New York City at all. I live like four hours from there. So whoever got my steam nail polish remover and my sleep gummies, I hope that you enjoy them and maybe you needed them more than I did. <laughs> but I was pretty sad about it. But anyways, I was able to get a bunch of stuff from Dollar General, not the McUltra. I don't drink that. It's gross. It will not be a part of this activity. I got some pure acetone cotton balls. And then I also picked up these gel polish remover pads because it seemed like something that I would be interested in because it said it was a one-stop shop and I'm lazy as can be. So we're gonna try these first. They probably won't work and then we'll have to resort to this, but it's fine. So hopefully this is somewhat successful so then we can try out this Dip Well nail kit that I showed on my Instagram stories. A lot of you guys asked me to review this. So we're gonna be trying it out and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm very bad at all types of nails, so this should be really interesting. <laughs> But yeah, I ordered this kit from Walmart or Amazon, and I don't think it's in stock at either of those places, but a lot of you said that on the Dipwell Direct website, it was still available. So yeah, we're gonna bring all of this to my salon, and we're gonna get the party started. Let's get it started. Ha! <sighs> Let's get it started in here. Is there weird stuff on the floor? Are there dust bunnies under my couch? If you see dust bunnies, you're gonna have to accept it, okay? So welcome to Salon SML. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna clip my hair back. And yeah, let's just say a prayer that these work because that would be just so much better. Instructions, instructions. Oh, file the top layer of polish with a medium to coarse file to scuff the surface for easier removal. I think I'm gonna take this, which is like the crustiest, no, coarsest. <laughs> the coarsest one. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like over and buff all the tops to kind of like break through that layer, I guess. I don't know, I just smell that. I just smell everything for some reason. I'm already bored. <laughs> I typically despise getting my nails done and that's when someone who actually knows what they're doing is doing them for me. So this is gonna be super fun, I could already tell. If you are a nail tech or a cosmetologist, please be nice to me in the comments because I don't know what the F I'm doing. Don't get mad at me, okay? I'm doing my best. This is not a tutorial. Disclaimer, this is not a tutorial for people in the back. I'm not trying to teach you. I'm just trying to let you experience this with me. I don't even like know how to file my nails. I don't think you're supposed to move your hand. I think you're supposed to move this. But I can't do anything with my left hand. Scuff it up. Scuff, scuff, scuff it up. Bump, bump, bump it up. What song is that? So here we are all scuffed up and ready to roll. Next up we have the advanced nail polish remover pad with extra thick felt. Extra thick. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. Wait, I'm just supposed to stick my finger in this? I thought there was gonna be a little foil packet inside of this, but it just wants me to stick my finger straight up into this. That doesn't seem that great, but we will do it. They seem rather large. I should tilt you down so you can see just how terrible I am at everything. I definitely should have opened these packages before I tried to open them with this on my hands, but 
Of course I didn't do that because I don't think ahead and I'm not smart. <laughs> This don't even seem right though. They're acting like you can just wrap it so easily. Whatever, bro. I just got a genius thought. So my genius idea was to take these little baby rubber hair bands and secure these little wrappers with that. Do you think that is a good idea? Or no? There's no, no. <laughs> this does not feel like a one-stop shop. See, this is a learning experience. So now you know not to do what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe if you have a friend that can help you, that would be good too. I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> I am not a fan of this technique. <laughs> There's no way this is the way that they want you to do it. There's no way. All right, new idea, new idea, new idea. So I'm back with some foil. And now I'm just gonna take these little pads and wrap around with foil because I don't know what they were thinking this was, but it doesn't wrap. It's literally paper, dude. But I do appreciate the pre-soaked felt pad in there. So I'm just gonna wrap my fingers like little burritos. If only I was ambidextrous. 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 I can't even wrap. I'm pissed. I am pissed. That's what's happening here. How the hell am I supposed to do this on my own? Help. I need somebody. Help. Not just anybody. Help. I need a nail tag. You guys, it's not happening for me. <laughs> Plan C. Throw your whole life away into the garbage. So I decided to regroup and come up with Plan C. So I went on to the internet and <laughs> I saw some people using a little plastic bag like this. So we're just gonna pour some straight up acetone. I'm gonna put like a shot of that. Oh in the corner like so. I'm going to take a paper towel and put my hands in there. So I got my scrunchie, that's basically just gonna secure the bag. And I don't know if I really like the paper towel in there, but then I'm gonna take my blow dryer because I saw that heat helps, so let's try it. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but this method is actually working really well. I have had my hands in this little puddle for like five minutes. This is like double or triple bagged by the way, so it doesn't leak. And I hit it with the blow dryer for like one minute and it's working like really, really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this on my other hand. And yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like nothing on my nail anymore. Wow, imagine that. Definitely do this method. It works way better. Also, put something on your cuticles before you do this so you don't ruin them like I definitely am. All right, let me take them out. Oh, yeah. Clean nails, yeah. I mean, look at that. Look how freaking long they are. That's pretty disgusting. Okay, let's do the other side. This technique really is not so bad. I don't know if it's like very harmful for my body or not, but I will say that my hand keeps cramping in this T-Rex position. <laughs> it's not ideal, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so here is what they're looking like now. The hard part is over. Or was that the easy part? I don't know, but <laughs> we're gonna shape and file the nails now. So I'm just like filing them all to like the same length and then I'll go back and round them out. How do you get it to be rounded? I suck at this. This is the ugliest shape ever. Why are they looking like this? They look like shit. Dude, I don't want this. That one is broken. That one is not even round at all. They're all breaking. <laughs> All of my nails are breaking off. In that case, now we're gonna have to file all of them down. Look at my nails. This is not cute. If I put dip on these, they're gonna look like thick 
little pieces of <laughs> that ain't gonna work. This is a sad day. I can't have one being long and then one being short and then one being square and one being brown. <laughs> So you know what? You two just ruined it for the whole party. You ruined it for everyone. Somehow I just had a feeling that this was not going to go well. Based on the history of my life, I should have known this and I kind of expected it. Like what the fuck shape is this, bro? Like these little stumps are not worthy of dip powder. You are not worthy. I should have just, you know, kept growing my nails out for all of eternity and enter myself into the running for the Ripley's Believe It or Not World's Longest Nail Competition, but I didn't. So I'm just going to have to file all of these off. I'm so mad right now. This house is a prison! So now they resemble your six-year-old son's or your eight-year-old brother's hands and they are looking extremely not cute. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna say um, F this, F the dip. I'm going to give this away to someone who will benefit from it and use it and will conquer it. I am not that person. So luckily I was able to find some real nail polish in my house. So this color is called 522 Nail Corrector. Love that name. And we're just gonna get the show on the road. Luckily, this color is really close to my skin color, so maybe you won't be able to notice that I'm gonna get it all over my cuticles and body. Okay, okay, very natural. This is like the kind of nails that girls that model for like Glossier have. When I get my nails done at the salon, I always do like a very neutral color because I don't like my hands. Like the shape of my fingers, why are they so little boy like? I'm not sure. But that's why I always do natural nails because they look just like more subtle and it doesn't like draw attention to the shape of my fingers. It all kind of like blends in, you know? I have extremely small nail beds. Like every single time I get my nails done for my whole entire life, doesn't even matter if I'm going to the same nail tech. They always say that I have the smallest, like skinniest little fingernails ever. And maybe that's why they look like little boys because they're just little. I'm savage, ratchet, boozy, average. Ah! Oh! Maybe from far away they look okay, but up close it's just like, what have you done? Mistakes were made, folks. Mistakes were made. So let's just top it off with a top coat. So here's the end result with a top coat. I really hate how it turned out and I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful so you could learn what to never ever do when you're trying to DIY your nails. This is why I can't DIY. I'm not good at doing things by myself. I'm not. <laughs> but while these are drying, I will tell you a funny story about the last time I got my dip nails taken off and I had just regular nails like these. Just smudged this one, so that's really amazing for me. Love that for me. So I was sitting under the dryer at the nail salon and when I was done, the nail tech, she came over and she was putting on my coat for me because it was winter time. And I was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. So she's putting it on over my shoulders and I put my hand in this sleeve and then I put my hand in this sleeve and then she goes to get my hair out from underneath my jacket. And <laughs> when she does that, she sticks her finger, accidentally of course, into my mouth and fish hooks me. Like her finger was legit multiple inches deep in my mouth, pulling my head back and I'm like Arr! Oh my god, it was absolutely mortifying and then I went grocery shopping right after and I could not stop laughing because who does that happen to? Who? Besides me, who does that happen to? Let me know in the comments if you guys have any funny stories about getting your nails done or being fish hooked, anything like that. Leave them in the comments so we can all laugh at your expense.
<laughs> Look how dry my hands are, first of all. Second of all, I smudged the shit out of these trying to take my camera off the tripod, so... Here's the final look. Loves it. So, yeah, I'm not a nail expert. I suck at nails. Do you guys remember? <laughs> oh my god, back in like the beginning of my YouTube days, like 2010, 2011, my nails used to look like this. Like I didn't always have like long nails and I used to do like videos on my favorite nail polishes. <laughs> I'll have to find one of those videos and link it for you guys because that's actually really funny considering 10 years later what is happening. No. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to need to pour myself a large glass of alcohol because this was stressful. And now I feel like I need a back massage because I was like hunched over. So shout out to people who do nails for a living because I cannot do what you do. So this is the wine that I'm going to be drinking today. This is actually really good. If you like Merlot, this is called East West Merlot. It's a 2015 and she's pretty good and yeah I know a lot of you guys will ask me why I don't just do like the press on nails and I tried to do those back in December when I had to get my dip nails off and a the first problem is that I have very 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 small fingers so I had to buy like three different sets and it still didn't give me all the sizes that I need so like all my fingers are like the exact same size so like none of the sizes fit my little baby hands and then the other reason is i cannot get them to stay on so like tommy's sister and his cousins like they try the glue on like press on nails and they get them to stay for like weeks and i can't even get them to stay on for more than like 15 minutes so clearly something is just wrong with these little fingers of mine so it's actually really nice out and i want to go for a walk Speaking of that, I saw this meme and it was like, drink a glass of wine before your daily walks and it'll feel like a mysterious adventure, <laughs> uh, which I would love to do. But now I'm kind of afraid to go on walks with Dave. If you've been watching my Instagram stories, like me and Dave have been going for walks. And the other day we got attacked by a German shepherd and it was honestly absolutely terrifying. Um, we walked up the road and I saw that they have this German Shepherd like on a run, on a leash, like tied up way, way out in the back. And when we walked through, the dog was like, you know, barking and running and all of that. But most dogs like will bark when you walk by. So it was fine. But then on the way back through, I passed the house and I didn't see the dog outside on the run and I was like oh must have went inside so we're like past this house and then all of a sudden I hear the dog growling and barking running straight for us so we're like already past its house like probably like 50 feet or so it's so it's coming right at us and growling and barking and I'm like I don't know what to do I know you're not supposed to like run because then they'll just like chase after you so I have Dave and so we're just standing there kind of like bracing ourselves for this dog. I let the dog come up to us and approach us to see, like just let the dogs like meet and I'm just like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. And then next thing you know, it was not fine. The narrator says it was not fine, she was not fine. <laughs> the dog just starts attacking Dave and like jumping on him, biting, biting his neck, biting his back and Dave is like jumping all around and we're like in the middle of the road like in a ditch and I'm like yanking at Dave trying to kick this dog off of us and I'm like rolling around on the ground because it's like so muddy out right now because it's like spring or whatever. So I'm like on the ground with a leash and Dave is pulling and I'm falling and Thank the Lord that the owner of this dog was outside at the time. So it came running after us. But like I said, we were like past the house. So it took a little bit for the owners to like get to us. And the owner, he's like tackling or like trying to tackle his dog to get him to stop. And it was so freaking scary. Luckily, there was no blood or anything. I don't know if the dog was just trying to scare us, which he totally did. He achieved that goal of his. But he definitely could have hurt both of us if he really wanted to because it was a huge full-grown male German Shepherd so I don't know it was really scary so now I feel like I need to get pepper spray or something before I go on my walks because that's really scary but yeah let me know if you guys have any experience with this or any suggestions as far as like pepper spray or something else to do I don't know if there's like whistles or anything, but I don't know. I feel bad because I want to take Dave for more walks, but 
I also don't want to put us in danger because things could go bad like real quick and I don't want either of us to get hurt so yeah I don't know I'm going to finish this glass of wine probably go cry in the other room about my nails I just can't I can't even look at these I can't even look at these but but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it, you got a laugh out of it because you definitely didn't learn any techniques. <laughs> That's for sure. But the main takeaway is don't do things yourself if you suck. Cheers.